Hey there, I am Parv Roshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So in, this is the second video in the series of UI automation next activity. In this video, particularly we are going to see how we can type into a web page, how we can navigate within the browser, like going to the home page that is the main Google page, closing the tab and such activity. So without any delay, let's get started. Now to use UI automation next activities, we need to install this package. UI automation next activities. After that, you will be seeing these particular activities in your activities panel. Now to use any of the activities of UI automation next package, we need to drag this code, use application or browser. Here we need to indicate the application. So this is the Flipkart application which I'm indicating over here. Now once that's done, I'm going to take type into activity. I'm going to type in this particular box. That is, I want to type iPhone. Now, as you can see here, you have to. So, if you have a password, then you can type that way. So, it will be a secure string. If it is a normal string, then you can type standard. So, you have this like if you want to empty the field before typing by single click, multi line, or anything. And click also you have option, none, single, double. So I'm going to keep it as single. Now indicating the elements, I'm going to indicate this element. Now it will try to automatically find an anchor for it. So see, it is asking me to give some anchor, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to confirm over here. Now this particular type into is indicated. After that, I'm going to press enter. So I'm going to use keyboard keyboard shortcuts. Now here we have two options. One is to record multiple shortcuts and one is to add manual. So I'm going to add manually since I just want to type enter and then I'm going to add it. So this particular keyboard shortcut is added. So once the model or the category of the phone is typed over here, I'm going to press enter. Now after that, so let's do that here also manually. iPhone. So yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the get text activity to get the text from that web page. Uh, I'm going to indicate this particular complete field. So it shows me like how many total results are shown in the one page out of the total number of results and for which particular keyword. I'm going to indicate this. Again, it is asking me to select an anchor, which I'm not going to do because it's not required for me. So you can, if you want to indicate the anchor, you can do that. Now I'm going to create a variable over here, which is going to store the text in the total results. Okay, so after this, what we are going to do is we are going to use a right line activity to just display the total results. So the total results are getting displayed over here. After that, I want to navigate the browser to go back to the home page. That is the main Google page. I wanted to go to click over here. So if I click over here, where it does it take? So if I click over here, I am on this home page. And after I'm on the home page, I want to close the tab. So there is a, you can use the close tab. So there are also different features you can see, different options you can see in navigate browser that is go back, go forward, refresh the tab if you want to see some other data. So you can use that as well depending upon your use case or your application. So here I'm just going to go home and then close the tab. Now we have built the complete workflow. Let me save this. Let me close this tab. Save and let's run this workflow to see whether we are getting the desired output or not. So here yeah, we can see now it is going to type. So it has typed. Now pressing the enter key. After that, it is going to get the text which we are seeing over here showing in the output panel. After that, it is going to the Google. And now it should close this particular tab. 
So it has closed the tab and we have completed the complete process. So this is how you can like, uh, instead of using KLON process or anything as such, you can use the Navigate browser activities in the UI Automation Next package and navigate between the browser. Also we saw like how we can type the text and indicate the anchor as well using only one activity. Let's do a quick review, uh, recap of what we saw in this video. So in this video, we used UI Automation Next package to navigate to a browser. Then we searched a particular product. We get the text. So whatever text was displayed, we took the text and used a right line activity to write it over there. And after that, we went back to the Google homepage and we closed that tab. So this is how you can use UI Automation Next activities mainly to navigate in the browser. Thank you for watching the complete video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and press the bell icon to stay updated to all the new videos I upload. Thank you.